Now over to the stove. Right, I first cab off the rank, get yourself a pan, put the pan. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing how a long haired Aussie makes his egg fried rice with Uncle Roger. And that's what I reckon. If you haven't checked out the rest of his videos, then be sure to check them out after seeing this one. And if you do happen to enjoy this video, guys, then be sure to give it a like, give it a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already to help support the channel because at half a million subs, we will be making our own egg fried rice. Hello niece and nephew, it's Uncle Roger. Few weeks ago, Uncle Roger made video with Aussie Man Review. We watched all the cooking fail, so satisfying. So Uncle Roger wondering, are Australian people better than British people at making egg fried rice? Australia at one point in time used to be a penal colony for the British Empire and a penal colony is a place where you would send the convicts. So of course a lot of people do have British or at least ancestry from the British Isles from Ireland, Scotland and Wales as well and um, well in the conversation there. <laughs> so today I found this cooking YouTuber from Australia. His name, not what I reckon. Let's see how good his egg fried rice skill is. Before we start, niece and nephew, I want you to smack like button. Smack like button now, like how your parents smack you when you fail your test. This is one of those times that I think Uncle Roger is actually speaking from experience. Oh no, packet rice to start, oh. Oh wait, what he doing? Oh! Whew. Uncle Roger, I see packet rice. I feel the worst, not what I reckon. Don't start your video like this. You almost gave Uncle Roger a heart attack. He must have seen the video of Jamie Oliver. Funny thing though, Jamie actually has his own line of pre-packaged food products. And I had a friend that lives over in Singapore and he actually said that it's at his local grocery store. And I don't think Jamie has any egg fried rice though, pre-packaged, pre-made. This no. And if anybody has tried this, then uh, well, let me know in the comments nicely, but let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uncle Roger think packet rice is so bad. Vacuuming packet rice is showing too much respect to packet rice. The rice go into the vacuum. Even the dirt inside the vacuum going, who the hell is this? Why you vacuum this trash next to me? What's going on, Le Champignons? Let's have a bit of a chat. This guy so many tattoo. Hmm. When Uncle Roger going up, I see people with so many tattoo, I assume they are gangster. But nowadays, when you have so many tattoo, I assume you make latte. Well, that depends on the culture because over here in the West, I mean, yeah, it's common to see, but from at least what I hear, I don't know for sure, it's not that accepted to see tattoos in Japan, at least for certain types of businesses, or even if you enter certain places, you have to cover them up. But again, I don't know for sure because I haven't been. Uncle Roger think this kitchen look too clean? Too minimalistic. I think this guy Nat, he hate clutter, except on his skin. This is like white people kitchen. In Asian culture, the messier your kitchen is, the better your food. Uncle Roger see tidy kitchen like this, I don't expect to eat egg fried rice. I expect to eat avocado on toast. Well, since we're talking about the kitchen, to me, if you look at his kitchen, it looks clean, but it looks like he has a lot of clutter on the counters behind him. Because honestly, if you have all the stuff on the counters while you're working, it makes it like very difficult to be able to work. Anyway, we're here to cook fucking fried rice. This shit on this shit. There's the fucking ingredients. Get fucked. <laughs> Hi, uh, why he curse so much? Every two words is F-bomb. Nah, you're cooking egg fried rice, not getting divorced. Why you say F-word so much? From now on, Uncle Roger gonna bleep out the F-word with Chinese sound. <laughs> YouTube, please don't demonetize Uncle Roger. I am family friendly channel. Is nephew not right here saying all the F-word? Yeah, that I agree with. If anybody from YouTube is watching, I try to keep things clean in my videos. I do try. He put ingredient on screen. Let's see what he have for his egg fried rice. Oh, shitload of garlic. Oh my God. Okay, that is only time cursing acceptable. You can use curse word to describe garlic. Only other time you can use cursing is when your ingredient list, you list out fuck ton of MSG. That's because it's Uncle Roger's favorite ingredient. Right, so here's the big trick with fried rice. You can't just fucking cook some rice and put the hot rice in with the hot ingredients and expect it to be awesome fried rice. Correct. 
correct. Never use hot rice for your egg fried rice. If you don't know how to cook rice, don't worry about it. Here's a flashback from the other week. For each cup of rice, it's one and a half cups of water. You wash all the stupid shit off the rice that makes the rice stick together. You see, when you have water damage like this behind the sink and you're starting to see it, as well as some like black mold, it's time to get it fixed if you can. It just makes the issue worse if you don't take care of it. Use cold water, don't use warm water, or you'll cook the rice. Put it in the pot, bang it on the stove, put a pinch of salt in it, bang the lid on, bring it to the boil. Once it's boiling, turn the heat down, keep the lid on it until it's fully cooked. Right, oh champ. Niece and nephew, you ever notice when you ask white people how to make rice, they give it this long explanation full of mathematical formula. One cup rice, one and a half cup water. Put on stove simmer, 10 minutes. Higher, too much. Too many instructions. You ask Asian people how they make rice, they just tell you, you put in rice cooker and press the button. What are you stupid? Just buy this thing. World War II is over. Use technology. Well, here's the fun in that. Of course, rice cookers do have their purpose, and depending on what type you get, they can cook rice perfectly. But if you do that all the time, you lose the skill of cooking rice perfectly without one. And it does take skill. When Uncle Roger tell my white people friend to buy rice cooker, they always tell me, sorry, cannot buy rice cooker. No space for this single purpose appliance. Rice cooker is single purpose appliance. But then I go to their house and I see toaster. Toaster, also single purpose appliance. Why you have that but not rice cooker? Rice cooker is better kitchen appliance than toaster because rice you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Toast you can only have for breakfast, so not versatile. If your parent make you toast for dinner, they don't love you. That is their way of telling you you adopted. <laughs> Sorry, adopted children. Growing up, I used to have beans on toast. I used to have it for dinner as well sometimes. Not all the time, but when you didn't really want to cook anything. Beans on toast, yeah. It's good, it's easy as well, it's tasty. I wonder if Uncle Roger has ever had beans on toast. I mean, he lives in the UK, so maybe. Now to be frank, again, I'm not frank, but to be honest about it, I cannot see myself eating rice for three meals a day, seven days a week. It's not one of the things that I want to do. I don't even have bread at every single meal. But again, it is one of those things that it depends on the culture because not every single culture eats a lot of rice. While the rice is cooling down, cut all this shit up, but keep these aside with your eggs. Okay, okay, the cutting quite pro. When using knife and when cutting slices, it's not about how fast you can actually cut something, it's about the control that you have over each slice. Because if they're all different sizes and you're cutting super fast, it means nothing. But if you can get each slice more or less perfectly the same size, then that's control. And that's a lot better than trying to speed through something. Also, it's easy to lose a finger if you're not careful. I remember one day growing up, my dad was too busy at work, and I think it was in Santa Fe, and he actually cut the tip of his thumb off. It happens. Stop, get your two eggs, crack them into a bowl. Uh, and gently whisk them together, champion. Righto. Righto. I don't like how he throws shit around higher. You need to treat your kitchen appliance with respect. If Uncle Roger throws shit like this around, my parents would beat me. Because Asian parents respect their kitchen appliance more than they respect their children. Uncle Roger so so much respect for my walk. Every day I talk to my walk. Ask him how his day is. It's my only friend now. Uncle Roger loves my walk so much, I think I am pansexual. Again, he's speaking from experience, but I think Uncle Roger is forgetting about his little rice cooker because the way that he talks about his rice cooker, he absolutely loves it. More than the little wok. Now over to the stove. Right, I first cab off the rank, get yourself a pan. <coughs> Put the pan. <laughs> Turn the f special little heat on. If you see right there, that's a sincere laugh. He's not faking it. Right, I first cab off the rank. Get yourself a pan. Put the pan. <laughs> Turn the f special little heat on. But I've lived here for almost fucking three months, and I still fucking can't work this thing out. Right one. This is cute. You can tell this guy not professional, but quite charming. Not even a minute, done. Set him aside in their own little bowl. My goodness, he swears a lot. I mean, at work, especially when you work in the kitchen, literally every other word is the F word. Gordon, Gordon. I'm not your fucking mate. Okay, lift it off. Oh, oh fucking hell. 
Yeah, Everywhere on that stove is fucking piping hot, yeah? If we do it again, the whole fucking place is going to go up in fire, okay? Jordan, it's ripping it to bits, it's not. It's because it's cooked to fuck, that's why. Yeah, quite frankly, that's nearly 20 quid's worth of tuna in the fucking bin, yes? It's normal, especially in an English kitchen. It's very normal, but YouTube is another thing. Get your bigger pan. No, 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 nephew, not where your walk, where your walk. You got all the step correct so far, but you don't have walk Hiya. Maybe you should spend less time conditioning your hair and spend more time buying one walk. Hair so silky, but no walk so sad. Love the sticker that he has on his extraction hood. The right one. Now you want to get this one nice and hot. Couple of tablespoons of sesame oil. No, 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 heading. no, no. Sesame oil not for cooking. Sesame oil you use for flavouring later. For making egg fried rice, Uncle Roger like to use peanut oil. Because I want my fried rice to be able to kill off all the weak peanut allergy people. Niece and nephew, just kidding. Uncle Roger loves all my niece and nephew, including the weak one. The sad thing about that is it's pretty true. You have to be very careful if you have a peanut allergy. I mean, in the West, you don't have to be as careful because we don't use peanuts as often. But if you live in the Mediterranean and you have a seafood allergy, you do have to be careful because here we use a lot of mariscos, gambas, shrimp, a lot of shellfish, a lot of seafood. If you have peanut allergy, your life's so sad, you go to Asia, you eat egg fried rice, it's like Russian roulette. Will I enjoy my meal or will I die? Let's find out. Now get this shit, put it in that shit. Add your peas. You want to kind of fry it off until you see the meat start to go a little brown. Another hot tip is try and use a wooden implement and not a metal one. Oh my god, he used wooden spoon on non-stick pan? Correct, correct. Uncle Roger, respect this nephew. True, you want to use wood or silicone, but if you're going to be sauteing in a pan this size, the amount of food that you put into the pan to saute for this amount is too much. You should put about half, if not a little less than half, in the pan to saute. Otherwise, the food is not going to come up to temp. It's not going to cook hot and fast. It's going to be basically boiling and you're not going to get color on it if you want that. Next, fang your egg back in. Do that round. And then add your ice in. Now add a couple of tablespoons of oyster sauce and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now fucking Oh no, 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 nephew not missing the most important ingredient. MSG. How can you miss the king of flavor? I know that Uncle Roger likes MSG a lot, but the way that he speaks about it, it kind of seems like it's more important than the rice to make egg fried rice. Many niece and nephew asking Uncle Roger why I like MSG so much. What does MSG taste like? MSG tastes like umami. Umami flavor is the best flavor. The basic taste is sweet, salty, sour, bitter. All of them are bullshit. All I want is umami taste. Umami tastes like happiness. It tastes like first love. Tastes like warm embrace from your lover. Next time you feel lonely, just eat some MSG. Before MSG, Uncle Roger life in shampoo. Ex-wife Auntie Helen left, took everything. I become homeless sitting on street. Then one day a kind stranger came over to Uncle Roger, sprinkled MSG on me, and next thing you know, I bought this orange polo. Threw it all together. Mm, interesting story. Seems a little far-fetched, but uh, interesting. <clears throat> His tossing not as fuyo as Uncle Gordon, but it's okay. It's acceptable for amateur cook. <laughs> Solid B minus. Well, when you have that many ingredients and that much weight in the saute pan, it can be a little difficult with one hand to be able to toss it. It's just too much in the pan. You can still make it in this, it's fine. But if you have a bigger pan or a wok, it makes it a lot easier. Give him a quick stir through. Serve it up. Not bad, not bad. This egg fire rice video is okay, acceptable. Not Uncle Gordon, fuyo level, but it's okay. Uncle Roger eat this, I won't vomit. His egg fried rice is pretty good for someone who look like unemployed guitarist. All he need to improve is buy a wok, stop using sesame oil, and use some MSG. Uncle Roger kept my leg on chair the whole time. Niece and nephew, tell me what you think 
is Australian cooking better than British cooking? Ah, uh, that's an easy question. I mean, it's kind of like between night and day. So if you do know the answer to that question, then let us know down below. And if you haven't seen Jamie's reaction video or the reaction video to Jamie's egg fried rice, then you should go see that. And then let us know down below on whether you prefer that one or this one. I think his kitchen too clean to make egg fried rice. Proper kitchen for Asian egg fried rice need to be messy. Need to have clutter everywhere. Maybe some cockroaches here and there. That's how you know the food good when the cockroach like your food. But this... <laughs> Overall though, you can nitpick, but for a home recipe, for something for people to make at home, it seems pretty good. I mean, the finished result looks like something that you would get at a Chinese restaurant, at least in the US. But if you do want to see more of Not What I Reckon's videos, then be sure to go over to his channel and check his content out after seeing this one, especially if you don't mind all the swearing. And if you did happen to enjoy this, then be sure to give it a like, give it a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button here on this channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you haven't seen any of our cooking react videos, then be sure to check those out as well as I actually test some of the recipes that we have been reviewing. So guys, I'll see you again soon. Hopefully you enjoyed this and until next time, take care.